いきます Erati believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as weapons. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here with another Stellaris video, Rise of the Kirathi Empire. And when we last left off, this colony ship was on their way to Kasora 3. Epic music as we pull in. Kasora 3 is going to be great for us. 80% habitability. And our surface looks pretty good as far as uh, energy, uh, mineral production, food and mineral production. We got a lot of things we can do here. And more important than that, once we establish that colony here, our reach will be extended and we can control this lane. So if anyone wants to come at us uh, from the west, they're going to have to come through Kasora. So it's sort of a, uh, a pinch off point, if you will. And we can put a spaceport around here. We can build up military here. We can basically make this system uh, our go-to for sure. And the music pulls up when we do. Game save and let's land there, buddy. Yep, he's landing, getting ready to set up our colony, a historic day. In eight years of gameplay, our colony ship has gently touched down by the outskirts of a large oasis on Ultax Point. Situated on the foot of a large mountain, this ideal location provides shelter from the wind and easy access to water. It's been permanently converted to administrative headquarters. Hundreds of tents are ready to go. We gained some engineering research, outstanding, and now, Old tax uh, pl um, point. It's it, this is really eating up our energy because we're maintaining uh, eight energy for 13 months, but we are ready to go. How is our science ship doing? We've moved into this system to survey it. We already know about two minerals here, but what I would like to do is see if new Kilra can work on some more energy for us. Unfortunately, they cannot. So our construction ship is going to have to get out there. That energy is being used, that energy is being used. That's not within our borders, but our borders are growing here. Outstanding. Uh, once we research our border range here, 66 months, we may be able to get into SCOD. But unfortunately, I don't see any other energy. And unfortunately, these are not within our colonial range, so we would have to set up a, a frontier outpost. Whoops. Just to take a look, see. For 100 minerals and 200 uh, influence, but we're losing influence because of our edicts. I'm thinking maybe if worse comes to worse, we can turn those edicts off. But for now, let's continue building up. Well, we don't want to build up our Amada yet. Anomaly found. Ooh, we have an anomaly. 22% chance. All right, go ahead and research that. Our research shows that we are going to be done with deflectors in less than a year. So I don't want to build any new ships that don't have those deflectors. Uh, we already got... We can go ahead and clear this out. And once that space is clear, we can move this pop into our energy credits to uh, try to get that back. Where are we losing influence? Edicts and our monthly gain is negative one. Upgrade planetary capital buildings or declare other empires rivals. So planetary capital buildings here. 
we can't upgrade because we don't know anything about those uh, administrators. I'll fail the uh, anomaly. Research complete. So he's moving on. We do have a planet here that is a continental, not good for us. We have Batharian power plants now. We can put in some armor, mineral storage, a defense platform. Uh, engineering. I think some armor would actually be good for us and we're a little bit further along there. You know what, as a matter of fact, Voltasa was good at that, uh, these research uh, points here. So maybe Valtasa should be in the engineering group. Construction complete. Possibly. Let's go ahead and start working on that one. All right, New Kilra has finished up clearing that out. Let's move a pop from. How are we on food? System survey complete. Uh, we can move. How does that look? Oh, it's... Uh, I don't like that growth rate. We'll go back to the food and wait for this pot to grow and then get our energy back. Well, no. All right. I, we're not gonna get anything from that yet, but what do we have here? Two more minerals, but of course we can't construct anything here because we don't own it. It's not within our borders. And that frontier outpost uh, is not good for us. I'd like to find a rival to declare to build up this, uh, this influence. We'll hold fast. Anyway, science ship. We've already surveyed. Yeah, we've already surveyed you. Haven't surveyed you yet, so. Go ahead, Penab. Or Peshnab the Faithful. Where are you going? Oh yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're warping. Well, if anything, we can... How close are we on the shield deflectors? Yeah, four months. Uh, we can get those deflectors built up, reorganize our uh, ship. Ooh, birth of space piracy. The Silver Fangs. Where is this space pirate? Not in this system. Haven't found any of those. Do we have any mineral deposits nearby? Kind of right there. It may be a stretch to get that, but it, it's not so far out there. Up. Oh. Kasora will be done at the end of the month, it seems. And we'll get our energy back from the colony. colony. Established. Sweet action. We now have a colony all set up there, getting, yep, three food. Some more minerals will be put down there. We don't know how to clear out quicksand to get that energy from that yet, but fairly good. Uh, we can upgrade. Hostile fleet detected. Oh, geez, where are these silver fangs? There they are, on Kasora. All right, second armada. Let's get to it. And is that one jump? No, it's two jumps. Oh, and that pirate fleet, yeah, jumped into that system. We are gonna meet them head on. All right, boys. Let's see what these pirates have Research to say for complete. themselves. 
And we just got deflectors. Of course we did. More deflectors, a mining drone laser. Energy storage. Station under attack. You are not going to hit our station. All hostile fleet engaged. All hands. And they're using our technologies as well. Come on, boys. They're concentrating fire on one while we are shooting three or four of them. We're about to lose a Corvette. When they lost one, we still got them outnumbered and outgunned. essentially fighting ourselves here. Situation log updated. All right, so that research platform should be repairing itself. We do have debris. Let's go ahead and get our uh, science ship on that as soon as possible. And our scientists actually leveled up. Outstanding. Yeah, the pirate fleet didn't hit us as well. But what we need to do with this armada is to get them home. So they will jump out of the system. Now that we have researched our deflectors, we can go into our corvettes and actually throw on some deflectors here. Okay, that'll be good. Still one hyperdrive, basic computer, secondary thrusters, okay. Save the current design. Now our ships will at least have shields. So when they pull up to space dock, we'll also tell them to upgrade. Now, I don't think this spaceport is doing anything. So as soon as they pull in, they'll, they'll be uh, repaired and upgraded, which is good for us. Our situation log was updated, I think. No? No silver fangs, just the debris. All right, so our, re our science ship is pulling in there to research uh, that, so... We will do that indeed. The initial module is required. We can build that defense module. Why not? Build that spaceport. It'll be finished in a year. Repairs are completed and they are upgrading with shields. Very excellent. And then any ship we build from then on out will come equipped with shields. So uh, once these upgrade, we'll see little blue bars here. Science ship is 15% of the way through researching that. Excellent. How are things looking on the surface? A little, you know, uh, good. They produce enough fuel. Once we get that spaceport in orbit, we will throw the uh, solar panels on it. How are you, science ship? What we can do is once we uh, are done with that special project, yeah, the debris, we'll tell our science ship to move over here and sort of scout out this area and make this like our next colony because if this is mineral heavy we'll take command of it without losing our influence points ships upgraded construction complete sweet so our ships now have shields excellent that will definitely help let's save up enough money for our next colony ship just in case uh, one of those, there's a planet in that system that we can do. We've got debris analyzed. What do we get? Sweet nanocomposite engineering physics research. 
All right, science ship, head over here and survey this system, please. This spaceport is eight months away. Excellent. Yep, and Lintil will be jumping out shortly. We'll see what kind of new, uh, what kind of new and interesting things reaches this Class M star. And hopefully, uh, some of those are habitable worlds and we can get that ticked. Still haven't found anything on the Seabrex culture. Holy crap. Look at how many planets there are to survey here. 14 orders. There has to be something here. But none of these are planets that I can colonize. Well, maybe. Maybe we have to survey them. I figured, though, once we warped in system, we would get that little planet icon next to them to say that perhaps we can survey them. But maybe not. Oh, that's right, we need a governor. Uh, so let's get our leaders. Let's see, where is our leaders at our empire? Let's say, we need a governor, please. I keep forgetting what that screen is. All right, yeah, so we can recruit another governor. Food, that would be good. Clear blocker costs, clear blockers. What kind of blockers do we have on the surface here? Well, we don't have the technology to even do that, so I think a food governor would be better for us. Let's go to recruit and grab that food governor. And he is now available. Let's go to Urax Point and put in Elmo, Elamano. So some food, clear blocker and construction time is reduced. That's good. So we're getting a little bit of bonus from the food from that, I would believe. Let's see. Plus 10%, ah, probably. How are things going up here? Ooh, we found that, uh, I'm gonna say beryllium. Batharian stone. This definitely looks like a good place for us. And it's not within our borders. You gotta be kidding on me. All right, fine. Inner orbit, stay there. Yeah, we need our border influence to really pick up. 31 months and 20%, I don't think that'll reach out here. If we could colonize one of these things, that would be pretty nice. I mean, there's a ton of minerals out here. Let's, speaking of which, let's go ahead and get our colony ship ready to go. No time like the present. So we found two minerals there. We're losing influence. How long are these edicts uh, going to run? You know what? I'll turn these off. I mean, the bonus is nice, but I'd like to start banking some of that influence for a uh, for an outpost, what did that do to our overall? Yeah, 19 and 24, I mean, that's not bad. 10 months left on our nano composite armor, so we can upgrade our ships even more once that becomes a thing. Come on. Anomaly found. Ooh, a 7%, okay. Research that bad boy, please. 7% on Chiblar. Now, if you fail that, I swear. And you have your spaceport up. 
only need 60 minerals. So in a couple months, we'll be able to establish our solar panel network and get those energy costs uh, back down. But this can become a secondary uh, military buildup point. Society research. Right now, that would be our border range, an improvement there. Hmm. I think for now, we build up these solar panels when we can at the end of the month here, and then... Ooh, Chiblar 1 has plus four power generation. That's cool. Go ahead and build our solar panels up on that station. I mean, it's pretty much facing the sun. I mean, you're getting going to get a lot of energy there. Alright, how are things on the surface? That uh, Kilrathi is almost born. We don't know how to clear quicksand. That would be a pretty good tile to, to focus on next. But already, one food and two more minerals. You know, you can't argue with that. Hmm. Make a planetary administration there for a lot of minerals. Mm. Might not be too bad. Although, we are building our new colony ship. How are things on the surface here? This one is growing. That is excellent. Yeah, I'm thinking now to keep him there, we have... Well, you know what? We might as well do the energy credit. No, the food. We'll go ahead and get the food uh, done. Next on our list, we can basically make this planet good to go, which wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Some research. Or some food. I think food would actually be better in this case. Let's clear out the slums. Uh, and then once this Kilrathi is born and gets the two food and the one mineral, the next one should grow right there. And then uh, it'll pop in here. We can clear out kill, kill, new Kilra and get to working on that. How's our science ship doing? ton of energy in this system, but still nothing colonizable. Only two left, and then he's got to move on. What I'd like to do is then send this science ship to survey that when you're done, please. Hopefully there's no big bads waiting for us. Fifty-six months until we get the improved deflectors, but two on nano composite armor. Uh, that'll be good. All right, we're jumping in, and no hostiles. Up, oh, what's that? Oh, is this the uh, mineral rich? Yeah, I believe it is. Survey system and do that one first. I think that is the really uh, mineral rich planet. Complete. I don't see anything habitable here though. Construction complete. All right, so those solar panels are built. New Kilra has cleared out. Um, let's see, what did New. Oh, that's our X point. Yeah, New, clear, new Kilra cleared out those slums, so that next food. Uh, we'll pop up there. Let's see, as a matter of fact, Research I think complete. we can take the one energy hit and get him growing a little bit faster. And we got our nano composite armor. Let's see, nuclear missiles or coil guns. I think we take the next step and do our coil guns, and then for now... Construction complete. What was that? Oh, the spaceport? Okay. Anyway, we will go to our Corvette here 
and throw on some nano composite armor. Increase the hull a bit. Which, that will be good. Go ahead and override the design. And then let's get this armada upgrading. In the meantime, we will put... I mean, we might as well put on armor here. Or not. Now we don't need our construction ships. Our science ship, though? I think our science ship would benefit... Oh, from an actual shield. Yeah, let's get a deflector screen on there. Save that. And then our colony ship shouldn't run into too much trouble. So we'll leave that be. Forty-eight percent upgrading, that'll give us more hull points. Four minerals there. But it makes me wonder if this is a mineral rich system. So that was just the first planet? Or the second, I guess. There could be minerals all through this thing, which a, uh, a frontier outpost might not be a bad idea to get that done. Our colony ship is ready to go. Go ahead and enter orbit there, so we're not paying maintenance. Uh, the, let's see. Do we have ships upgraded? Construction complete. Thank you. Do we have any habitable worlds that we can hop to? That one hasn't been surveyed. How about here in Epsilon? None there. Has not been surveyed. It's tropical. 60% for Kilrathi. We might be able to get that one done. Maybe just maybe and extend our borders up this way. How about Scod? So much research here, but it's arid and we don't have that technology. Oh yeah, this is definitely a mineral rich system. Look at all this. I definitely want to build a frontier outpost out here. So many minerals. It would cost us influence, I think, though. Yeah, the monthly maintenance is at one influence point. And we're lacking influence anyway, so we can't even do that. We need a colony, and we need a colony fast. Scott? Oh yeah. All right, we need to find... It's tropical. Or desert. In a perfect world, we'll be able to find something maybe up here, or maybe up here. Who knows? But so many minerals here. That's a shame that we can't do anything with them for now because of those edicts that we were we were pushing our scientists. Although in less than a year, well, a little over a year, our borders may extend 20%. I doubt it'll reach all the way out here, but we definitely need some reach. I'm thinking a colony out, out here, maybe a colony down here, sort of secure these lanes up a bit. Can we do anything on this particular planet while we are here? Looks like they're growing, they're focusing on food and farming, which is all good in the hood. Yeah, we're getting our excess food. Okay. We could probably build up some more fleets. So while we're here, Situation. Oh, the Epsilon Aliens. Let's do that. 
Sweet. So this is possibly our first foray into uh, sentient life here. They are an FTL. And they were surveying, so they do have scientists. We might meet our first cohorts. Now whether... Anomaly found. Sweet, go ahead and do it. Now whether or not we are on good terms with them or bad terms with them, we won't know. But either way, it's definitely exciting. Yeah, these, these, these Epsilon aliens are like, oh, Looks to be somebody here. <laughs> Just in case we do need to do aggressive negotiation. Let's do two Corvettes there. And one Corvette here. Oh, fascinating. No, it's, it's 80. It's 80 there and 80 there. Okay, so we're building up some ships then. Signs of battle. Situation log updated. The graveyard expedition. Where is that on the map? Oh, it's out here. Oh, so we're already there. All right, go to. All right, so science ship. Research. Let's see what we got here. The Mount Graveyard Expedition. Wonder if we'll find some sort of tomb world here or whatnot. Corvette's about built there. Looks like Corvettes are being built here. We're up to 204 strength Construction there. Construction complete. Yep, our Corvette's ready to go. Let's send him home. Second armada, no, our first armada. Go ahead and dock there. And then when he gets up there, we'll uh, have him join the group. But that is going to do it for me. Progress is made. Our colony is all set up with a spaceport. Our science ship is finishing up uh, this graveyard expedition. Uh, but that will have to wait for another time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sokka. Complete. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. And I will see you in the next Stellaris Special video. Complete. Take care. All the Uberic Empire. Well, we'll meet those guys next time. See you then.